talk, shop, pop, movies. Oh, hi there, this is Derek, the convicted cinephile, and if you're a convicted cinephile yourself, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel down below. On my channel, I like to talk, shop, and pop open, that is, movies and physical media, and no, I am not driving. Uh, <laughs> I'm headed to the Barnes & Noble, because the Barnes & Noble 50% off Arrow video sale started today, and it goes through, I believe, February 5th, so good stuff. So yeah, I got something on hold, and I'm going to take a look at what else they have, and you know, we'll hope for the best. Okay, here we are inside the Barnes & Noble, and look at that. They got the Arrow movies on a little table waiting just for me, I assume, and no one else. All right, we got American Werewolf in London on 4K. I still need to get this. I don't have the limited edition one, but I do have the limited edition Blu-ray. But if you don't have American Werewolf in London, you need to get it. This Barbarella is gorgeous. This is one that's definitely going to be in my maybe pile. It's got a thick book, and yeah, the artwork on this is crazy beautiful. And the original poster artwork from the store is cool as well. Ooh, Cur I forgot about Curlito's Way. I've never seen this. I'm, for some reason, Al Pacino just never clicks with me. I mean, I like him, he's great. But no, his movies are always hit and miss. But I like Brian De Palma a lot, so I might grab that one at some point. Black Hat. I forgot this got a 4K. I heard nothing but terrible things about this movie when it came out. So when they announced this 4K, I kind of laughed, honestly. But it's a Michael Mann movie, and he's, you know, decent. And I like that the uh, apparently the limited edition exclusive is the director's cut on Blu-ray. So that's something, I guess. Uh, the <laughs> this Cold Wars creature set is really, really cool. This is the standard edition. I actually was lucky enough to and found the limited edition of this at a local store like a year or two ago now. Uh, so it has the booklets in there and everything. This one does not. But it's a cool set if you like old 50s B horror movies. God, I just love looking at all these, even when I know I'm not going to buy them. They are cool to look at. Oh yeah, Day of the Locust. I forgot this existed. I have never seen this. Is it good? I, I don't know what it is. Here we have Deep Red on 4K. Um, I think you can get the limited edition. Still pretty cheap online. Check Hamilton Books. They often have it on there. And Desperate Hours with Mr. Bogart. I was told is good from uh, my buddy Tim Toksaki's, so I'll take his word for it. We got the Elvira one there. Here's the standard edition Arrow Video Return to the Video Store box set. Is that what it's called, right? Enter the Video Store. That's the thing. Uh, so this one has slim cases. I don't remember 100% now that I'm thinking about it if the... Uh, limited edition had full-size cases. I want to say it did and it does not have the booklets that came with it I'll have to go check my set when I'm done recording here, but that is a cool set nonetheless Especially right now if you can get it half off Flatliners 4k. I forgot about this one, too. I have never seen Flatliners But I'm usually here to get the uh, the big limited edition box sets while I can everything else I can wait on even the slipcover limited editions I don't feel like I'm missing much if I miss out on those. These Giallo box sets are cool, but it's one of those things where if I get one, I'm going to have to get all of them. <laughs> I know I'll never watch them all. Uh, the sticker's covering half the name of this one, but hey, it's another cool box set. So we'll, we'll take a look at it here. Yeah, Arrow is probably my favorite company as far as boutique labels go. I love Criterion a lot, but Arrow just seems to do a little bit more cool stuff with their releases. All right, on the other side of this table, we got some old Hellraisers. Here's the Hills Have Eyes 4K. I was lucky got that limited edition for like 20 bucks on Hamilton Books. Here's one I have to recommend. Hugo from Martin Scorsese. This is just the Blu-ray, but the 4K of this is probably the best looking thing I watched last year. So I highly recommend this one. It comes with the 3D Blu-ray as well, which is awesome. It is a gorgeous movie. I love it. Film School of the Box, as I call it. Last House on the left. That's the Blu-ray. Here's some 4Ks. A lot of these around. I guess I can wait on this one. Um, I actually like this remake a lot. I don't like it as much as the original. 
because I just usually like the originals more. It's grittier and nastier and makes you feel like you have to take a shower afterwards. But I do like the remake quite a bit. It's got a good cast in it, especially uh, Garrett Dillahunt is the main creepy guy. I always loved him. Solid remake. Oh yeah, last Starfighter 4K. I think I got this on Hamilton Books on Blu-ray because they had it like $11 or something like that last year. I did a video of a whole little Hamilton Books arrow haul. <laughs> Maybe I'll show at the end of the video to take a look at, but they got some good stuff. This one is another one I got as well, Mill of the Stone Women. I grabbed this limited edition Blu-ray set for, I want to say, $19.99 on Hamilton Books as opposed to $30 here, and that's the half-off price. So you can get some good deals on Hamilton Books, too, for some of the older releases. Ring U on 4K. Another J-horror classic that I have yet to see. I'm just bad about watching those, I'll be honest. But I do want to see it at some point. And RoboCop, probably the best movie on this table. You can't get the limited editions anymore, but that 4K is definitely a must-own for anyone who does not have it already. Tremors 2. Oh, this is a, I want Tremors 2, but this is only the Blu-ray. I wanted to get the 4K to match my Tremors 1 which is an amazing hero release. You got all the various true romances. Here's the Steelbook, the Steelbook box set, Vengeance Trails collection of old westerns. And here's the standard Blu-ray limited edition box set. Lots of true romances, but yeah, that's a cool one. I got the Steelbook 4K of that one during a sale. Warriors come out to play, yay. All right, so yeah, lots of Warriors, all Blu-rays. That's that's a shame. Uh, ooh, Witness, once again, only a Blu-ray. Here's another one I absolutely have to get. I guess I'll have to order this one from the website. That is fine, but Witness is an amazing movie. Best Picture nominee, something you don't see very often <laughs> come from. Uh, Arrow video, but it's a great Harrison Ford movie. Probably his best, besides maybe The Fugitive, which I prefer personally. And this 4K limited edition of Waterworld is gorgeous. I would get this if I didn't already have the standard 4K. I just don't need to buy another version of the same movie on 4K. I'm sure it's a comparable disc. So I don't need to have two Waterworlds. I'm not, I don't like it that much. Right, what's in here? The Steelbook Weird Science Steelbook. This is just the Blu-ray, though. I don't think they re-released the 4K on Steelbook, which if they did, I might have grabbed it, actually. It's one I kind of want to get. Here's the 4K, just the standard slipcover version. Great movie. One of John Hughes' best. Probably his overall funniest movie, besides maybe Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, of course. And Wild Things is an amazing 4K release. This is the Blu-ray here, but I never saw this until I bought it, and I loved it. All right, I, I just saw the sign, so I had to show off some 30% off Criterions. I don't know if that's just like a Barnes & Noble thing or if it's an actual sale, but I thought I'd show it off. And here's the actual Criterion shelf. I had to show it off and brag to all the people who don't have these in their stores anymore around them, which sucks. Usually the arrow section is over here too, but I don't see one. It looks like they moved them all to that table for the sale, which... I wish they had as many arrows in my send my copy down um, as they do the other things. I want to see if they have Blood Simple on 4K, though, because that came out today. Nope, just the Blu-ray. I wasn't going to get it, but I thought maybe I'd show it off in the video. Okay, let's go see what I grabbed at home. Take my coffee. And we're back. So I honestly just recorded, like, a shitload of this video, and my computer ran out of memory. So I'm going to, like, have to half-ass it. I already opened all of the things I bought and showed all of them to you. I'll do it again, but a little bit faster, apparently. So that's annoying. Uh, but, <laughs> so, um, yes, so happy this sale exists. I was worried they weren't going to do it this year since they didn't do it concurrently with the Criterion sale, which they often do. They kind of, like, stagger them, like, half the month of July and November. But I'm glad it happened now. So I'm just going to jump right into the three things I bought. Yes, I got three things. The one I put on hold and grabbed and got was the amazing limited edition of Tremors 2 Aftershocks on 4K. I had to get this to match my first Tremors. There's the back. I already put all the, I already took it all apart and showed y'all. And then I had to delete the video because for some reason when my computer runs out of memory, the sound doesn't sync up with the video. I understand that it, like, runs out and has to stop. Why does the sound get unsunk? Like, it makes no fucking sense. Anyways, I'm just re-recording this then. These are all 60 bucks MSRP, half off for $29.99 right now at Barnes & Noble, and probably on Amazon, too, at some point. They usually try to match sales. So I'm just going to show you the guts of this Tremors 2. If you are a fan 
of Tremors 1. You have no reason not to go get Tremors 2. It is easily the second best Tremors movie that has ever been made. Which is something. And then it comes with the poster. I'll show you that as well. It stars the late, great Fred Ward yet again. So there is the new artwork. Gotta love it. Very cool. This one has the ones with the little feet that walk around. And then here is the original poster. It also has Michael Gross of Cool as Ice, starring Vanilla Ice, of course. Uh, yeah, you will I used to watch this all the time, taped off cable when I was like seven ish, eight years old. And my oldest friend, who I became friends with when we uh, we were in third grade together, so I would have been like around eight. He watched it at my house. He fell in love with Tremors. So when we went to Mr. Movies and we saw this poster waiting there for us, we lost our shit because we love Tremors so much. And we immediately rented Tremors 2 Aftershocks at the Mr. Movies day one, or at least weekend one, you know, whatever we had our sleepover, right? When it came out, we planned around it and everything. And uh, while it's not as great as the first one, we still really enjoyed it. It's a fun movie. It's one I definitely want to show with my kid, because he liked the first one, too. Uh, I already flipped around the uh, reversible artwork, because, like I said, I already recorded this whole damn video for the most part. <laughs> I, I was a little more long-winded about it, as I usually am, so this is the super short version. The uh, other side of this artwork is the green case that the outer box looks like. I'm not going to bother even flipping it over again, because I, I just don't give a shit. But I will go over the uh, <laughs> special features a little bit. Um, it has two new commentaries, one from the director of the film one and co-writer, and another feature commentary from Jonathan Melville, author of Seeking Perfection, The Unofficial Guide to Tremors. It has behind-the-scenes stuff with the special effects designers and uh, a Phil Tippett interview as well. Phil Tippett worked on this. I had no idea. That is amazing. He was the CG supervisor. <laughs> One of the best. One of the best working in the business. It always has been since the Star Wars days. <laughs> There's a making of Tremors 2 on set featurette with the cast and crew. Trailers for Tremors 1 and 2, Aftershocks, Image Gallery, all that kind of fun stuff. It is just a 4K disc. So that, to some people, would be disappointing. But, you know, it's the one I'm going to watch, so I don't care. But inside it comes with this, which I thought was hilarious. It's like a little biology guide if you want if that's the right word i'm stupid of the inner workings of the central american graboid shrieker version because they evolve into shriekers from the first movie so it shows like what its little body parts do and that's yeah, it's, i thought that was awesome but yeah tremors 2 is a fun one if you haven't seen the original tremors at least go out and do that that is one of the best looking 4ks i have seen outstanding you can't get the limited edition version of it anymore at least not like in store very easily but if you can get your grubby little hands on it i recommend it but you can at least find the standard version where you know just the case like this at your local barnes and noble hopefully or at least on the website but tremors 2 is a fun one glad i finally got this i was worried i was going to miss out on this because i didn't buy it right away but i love the embossed uh yeah tremors 2 glad i grabbed that one finally Number two of three is Brian De Palma's Carlito's Way on 4K, which I've never seen. And if you think this artwork's great, you're going to love the back of it. Just check that out. That had to be committee work right there on that artwork. Um, I'm being sarcastic, obviously, because that's what I do. Here's the poster. It has the theatrical poster on one side, as usual. And then the special fancy new artwork. I prefer the new artwork, honestly, on this one. A lot of the times I like when they have the old posters. But that's the new artwork that we saw already. I like the reflection. Very cool. Very pretty. And then here's the original poster where it's just like El Pacino's silhouette. And that's about it. Still looks cool. But they took that, used the same idea, and made it way cooler on that side, I think. Um, I've never been a huge Al Pacino fan. I'm probably like one of two people who would say that and be honest about it. He's a good actor. I like him. I just, for some reason, most of the movies I watch him in... I'm either lukewarm on the movie or he's not my favorite thing about it. <laughs> my least favorite Brian De Palma movie that I've seen that I can think of offhand is honestly Scarface, which I know is blasphemy to film geeks, but it's one of those movies I put off watching for 20 years because every 
douchebag in high school thought they were the coolest person ever because they watched Scarface, and I never heard the end of it. So I just never wanted to watch it. And I finally bought the 4K and watched it for the first time last year. And it's fine. Like, it's not a bad movie, but it's not, like, amazing, I don't think. I don't know. It's just me, I guess. But here's the booklet. I like the billiard table. That's cool. But I will give him the benefit of the doubt in this one. And here is the already flipped over case. This one has a 4K and a Blu-ray with special features. Same artwork on the disc, though, which is kind of lame. And this one also has two brand new commentaries for this release, which is very, very cool. Sadly, none of them have, like, Al Pacino on them or Brian De Palma themselves. But I ain't complaining with two new uh, commentaries on anything. And the third thing I grabbed was... I just started talking about this one when my computer decided to go stupid on me. Barbarella on 4K. I just got the plastic off and then it took a shit on me. Uh, so it still has the J card on it. I'll show you what I do with the J cards like I did in the first time around. I actually take them and I put the sticky thing like that. And I fold them in half. Like so. And then I put them inside the case. I don't usually do that, but for the Aero Big Boxes, that's what I do. And then there's the back of it. And you know what I haven't done on camera? Is smell these things. They are my That's my favorite thing to do. I'm weird. But these smell better than anything in the world. <sighs> Hashtag smell the movies. Um, but yeah, seriously, if A24 can make like candles and shit based on their movies, Aero Video needs to make a limited edition box set uh, air freshener or something like that. This one has a really chunky book on it, too. So I'm looking forward to this one. Here is the book. Oh, that is cool. That is pretty artwork. There, that makes more sense. I've never seen Barbarella either, but it's just one of those classic, like, campy sci-fi movies from its time. And it just looks like a, a hoot and a half, as I always say. And you still get the original poster because that's what it comes with on the inside. Is this another new poster? It might be. Oh, okay, so there's another new piece of artwork. That is awesome. I love me that. With the same font and everything. And then this is the original theatrical poster. And that's what the Arrow Store exclusive version looks like. Which I usually prefer the original posters. This one I could go either way. I probably, if they had this one, I may have bought it over the other one. But for the price difference of getting it during the Barnes & Noble half-off sale, I will happily get this gorgeous one instead of the other gorgeous one. I can't complain too much either way. And then there is the case. Oh, cool. So it's got that artwork on it. That's nice. I always like when they do multiple artworks, even more than two. More the merrier, as I say. That's a saying I invented. Nobody else ever says that. Uh, this is the new 4K restoration. I'm just going to try to read the special features here. Uh, da, 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 da. We all know it's new. New commission artwork by Tula Lote. Good job. Good job, Tula. Double-sided fold-up poster with newly commissioned artwork by Tula Lote. Six double-sided collector's cards. We'll get to that. Illustrated collector's booklet and all that fun stuff. That's the limited edition goodies that I just showed you. And then eventually they'll come out with a standard version that looks just like this, probably. And then the actual disc... Let's see what it has. It's got Dolby Atmos. That's cool. French Mono featuring the voice of Jane Fonda herself. That is, I forgot that was Jane Fonda. That's funny. <laughs> Optional English subtitles. Audio commentary by film critic. Alternate opening and closing credits in 4K. So no new commentaries on this one. The other two had two brand new commentaries each. Then that was, that was good stuff. But this one still has, at least it has Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, stuff like that. And then the second disc is a special features Blu-ray. Another Girl, Another Planet, and Appreciation of Barbarella by film critic Glenn Kenny. A behind-the-scenes featurette, Barbarella Forever. A two-hour in-depth discussion between film historians and the world-changing costume designs. Framing for Cloud. An interview with a camera operator. Lots of new interviews. That's very cool. So yeah, there's a solid amount of special features on here. Like I said, sadly no new commentaries or anything, but... It's nothing to sneeze at, that's for sure. So, let's see, I'll put the J card in there first so it gets buried under here. And then I'll put the little arrow video, you know, little pamphlet, ad, whatever you want to call it, they always have in there. So there's the cards. The uh, Carlitos Way one actually had cards too, but they were just like photos from the movie. 
these are infinitely cooler than that. I mean, that's folders from the movie, but some of these are artwork, which I love. Very cool. Can't figure out where the camera is. It's right in front of me. How can I not find it? <laughs> so yeah, those are awesome. You know, they don't. You know, art, they don't do anything. They're the cool postcard art cards. I like the poster on the back of them though. But it's just it's something else. So, something else that makes it worth your money. Let's put it that way. And then we got the discs. Barbarella on 4K. And disc two extras. Is this a 4K? Yeah, it is. Okay. I was really worried. I got the wrong one there for a second. <laughs> I was like, where's it say 4K? It says right underneath the Paramount logo. I'm blind. Same artwork though. They could have they could have swapped out the artwork for the other new artwork. I'm surprised they didn't. There we go. And let's flip this sucker over because who doesn't love reversible cover art? Stupid people that too. And see you still get the awesome poster artwork with this release because it's on the inside. And the much easier to read <laughs> uh, font on the back. I should have just read that side. But yeah, it's been a while since I've bought any of these limited edition Arrow box sets. So I was like, I'm going to go all out this sale because it's been a while. I went and grabbed these three. Once again, I'll just show them quick. I got Barbarelli. I got Carlitos Way. And Tremors 2, which are very fancy. There they are. Big chunky boys. Gotta love it. Um, will I get any more of these this month? Probably, because I want to get Witness. I need Witness, and I might get Arbor... Uh, I don't know what the hell... I always said Arborellums. I don't even, that's not even a word. I was looking at Barbarella and trying to say the Warriors at the same time. Arborellums. I want to get the Warriors, too, probably. Another one I've never seen, but I heard great things about the release. And these are just... When they're half off, these are just worth the money to have on your shelf, because, damn, they are cool. And eventually I'm going to watch the movie, and hopefully I like it. If I don't like it, I'll resell it two years from now, and it'll be worth what I bought it for. You know, whatever. <laughs> and uh, the other thing that comes out at the end of the month, just in time for the sale on January 30th, are the Conan the Barbarian films. And I might grab that big Conan box set that comes with both Conan films. Another one I've never seen. I grew up in a strict religious Arnold Schwarzenegger only household. I never watched Stallone films. My family wouldn't allow it. Not really, but I just grew up on Arnold for some reason. And I've never seen the Conan movies. I've seen like everything else he's ever done, especially around that time. For some reason, I never watched Conan, not even like on TV or anything. So that's the other thing I'll probably buy this month that's coming out. The sale goes through the 5th. That comes out on 30th. Perfect timing. I love when they time the sales with the releases of the movies that I'm actually considering buying. That's always a plus. You can actually pre-order it half off already. So I think the two-pack on 4K is like 45 bucks half off, which for two movies from Arrow is a pretty solid price. But yeah, what are you planning on getting this sale? Tell me. I might do a recommendation video that's you know, obviously not going to be these three, but just other ones I own that I love that I think you guys should go out and buy if they are still available, because that's what we do this time of year during these sales. I'm going to stop talking before my camera runs out of uh, film again, because that's how computers work, right? Once again, my name is Derek, the Convicted Cinephile. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Shop. Pop. Movies.